Hello and welcome to iTrade Aims. Today I'm going to show you how to trade stocks using the setup one pattern. Hello, in this video we're going to look at my stock watch list. We're going to look at how I arrive at my stock list, how I use my scanner, which are the stocks that made it to my watch list, and how do I then maintain my watch. You might know me as trading Forex and the DAX. Most of the videos in this channel are about trading the DAX M1 or trading the Forex. But since we have now coded our indicators for the trading view, we have all the stocks available from all the world. And if you apply a specific scanner that picks a setup one, you can actually come up with a dozen trades a day or at least a week uh, where you can take trades based on our favorite setup one strategy. So I'm going to show you my watch list. So if you look at this screen, I have this huge watch, watch list uh, that I've built over the past few weeks. The method is that you need to have a, some kind of a scanner. So I have a scanner which has particular filters. So I've got those eight filters. One of the filters is that I only want to watch stocks between $1 to $20. It can be higher than that as well, but it would demand more money. It doesn't really matter to me because my method of taking the trade does not require me to buy the stock, uh, the original stock. I don't have to buy the stock because lucky for me, I'm in the UK, I can spread bet. So I'll go through, uh, I'll go to in more detail about this particular aspect in some other video, but this video is for everyone who can actually trade stocks on whatever platform they want. So TradingView will become your platform to actually identify the setup, which is the setup one. You can run the scanners, find the stocks, whichever are forming, you add them to your watch list, and then you go through your watch list every day to see which ones are now ready to trade. And at the same time, you find out if the ones are not qualified like they were meeting the some of the rules but then the setup goes away so you would delete them so we'll go through that so let's suppose i've run the scanner and i'm not going to share the scanner details in this video but probably i will later for members i will do another video and i will tell them exactly what filters i use to find a setup so what you see on the screen is a chart that has already, uh, we have traded it, it's gone up, we still have a trade on it. Uh, it's not that I trade on TradingView, I have a different platform. I trade it on the IG.com, which is a spread betting platform. So we'll go through that some of the time. This is a, a chart of IRTC, which is a medical specialist, obviously these days, health technology, technology and health technology are all the stocks that are going up. This is when it hit the scanner. So the scanner picked it around this time. Now I'm gonna run it one by one, bar by bar to see what happens. So as you can see a few days later, uh, we can see we have a wave of a peak three, cross of zero line, we have the gator sleeping, purple correct. That's the setup one forming. We wait for it, we wait for a tighter box. The tighter box is created now. We're watching it. You can probably go long here, right? Around this area. But this is a little, a little bit too early for me. Uh, so we didn't go for that one. We want to wait a little bit. But if you did go long, your stop loss will be over here. So you go long, let's say 124. Your stop loss is a $124 stop. Price comes down. This was a rent. Okay, fine. But it's still a setup. Why? Because the gator is sleeping. Purple is correct. Box is tight. A is crossed to zero line. So we kept looking at it. Kept looking at it. It kept going. I have nothing to do. Just once in a while I will look at it. It's in my stock, my watch list. Look how many days it took. Now it's setting up again. Over here, you can take a trade here at 120 and your stop loss after the trigger would be below the low of this. So let's say 115. The next day you get stopped out or if you had your stop loss over here, 109, then you're still in. Suppose you went with half the risk, your stop loss was here, that's a better strategy. Now it's gonna be another box. Another box formed, you either take your first trade here at 125 or you add on here. 
and then you simply wait. That's it. Now you have two trades running, one from 123, uh, 120, and the other one is at 124. It's taking its time, a little bit going on, and some news, some development in their company. Price gradually goes up, hits these levels. We have a few levels to contend. And then this happens. That's it. It's gone all the way up. You can take half your profits or all your profits, or most probably take 70% of your profit and because it's moving and let it run. So let it run. If you let, if you, if you let it run, your stock went from 120 to 190 like a joke. And then it went sideways, one candle over here, and it went to 215. Just imagine that. So if you invested $10,000 here, it's almost doubled in the next few days, okay? And then what happens? It's pulling back. It pulls back, and if you know the pullback entry, then you know that this is where your entry was. So if you set up your order here at 180, it would have gapped open and got you in at 184, but gone straight to 208. That is setup one. You can find setups like these on a regular basis all the time. So let's now uh, go through the scanner. Suppose I'm looking at the scanner right here. There are 108 matches. I can go and change the filter to minimize it, but I won't do that right now. I can go through 108 stocks in a matter of minutes, like five minutes, okay? So this is one, let's suppose I looked at this, I see a three, I see a cross of zero line, I see purple correct, tight box, I can see this is a setup one. What I'll do, Alt W, it's added to my watch list. Now I'm not trading yet, I'm just going to go to the next one. So if you select this over here and then press space bar, it's going to go to the next one. It goes to meet. Don't like it, go to the next one. Don't like it, go to the next one. I'm going to go one by one. Hmm, I like this one. Okay, ACTG, what is it? Miscellaneous commercial, commercial services. I have a strong three, sideways four, probably a trade there. Alt W, it's added. Let's go to the next one. You have to click back on this again for the space to happen. So if you have clicked here and then if you click here and then press space, it's going to go through those charts. So you have to be careful with that. And if you want to go through your uh, scanner, you stick, uh, click there and then actually let's go ACTG. So that's added to our, our um, list. Next one is CAPR. It was a lovely setup one here. Now it's hit it, not interested. The next one, maybe this is a setup. I'll just add it to watch list and I'll see it later. As you can see, it's added now to the bottom of it. Another space bar, space bar, space bar, and space bar. Well, this one probably will set up. I'll add it to the list anyway and I'll check it later. Okay, if this had hit my scanners around here and I'd added it, I would have gone long here, waited a few days and bang, it would go up. So, well, I shouldn't be adding it, but I've just added it. This could do something, I'll add this. This is probably a setup, but it kind of, it's done. A three up, four down, probably a five up. Maybe it will go from 535 to 577. I'll add it to the list. So as you can see, this is the process. Oh, this is a nice one. Three, four, then I'll add it to the list. So once um, I've gone through this, then I'll have this entire list to look after. So you can um, order them in the symbol name or the price or the percentage change. So the percentage change, if it's at the positive up there, then obviously the first chart you're gonna see is the one that has moved a lot. And then you do that. So I normally would keep it this way to see which ones are going up. 
So that would be easily because I only want to buy in stocks. So that would mean that all the green ones are the ones that I'll be interested in. So uh, I'll just go one by one now. So now what I'm doing is that I'm going through my watch list. I'm going to look for two things. One, is it setting up? Is it ready to be traded or has it now gone um, further down and not a setup one anymore? If that is the case, then we will look at those charts and delete them by pressing this X button here. Okay, so IRTC, we are in this trade. It's going up, probably approaching exit. So when this is gone, probably not of interest to us, we will uh, take it off. But right now it's in the watch list. Okay, this one. We have a three up, four down, most probably uh, something to trade. So when the market opens, you can probably go long over there. So we can leave it there. Something to trade. IMVT, it has hit target point. And we had uh, an idea on this over here. Let me show you. As you can see, the idea was to uh, buy at 27.50. 27.50 goes long here. First target was 29.50, this high, and the third, second target was 35. The target zone one. Let's play it and see if it hits it. So it goes sideways and bang, it opens all the way up. So if your target was at 35, most probably uh, you got out right at the open uh, if you had the order set up there or if you're looking at it and saw it. Otherwise, it just went up and then came down. But even if you're not out, you're still in profit. If you went long at 27.50, you still have around 250 or $3 profit. Otherwise, it went all the way up. So that's one. So now, most probably, we can now take this one off our list. I'm not going to do that yet. Let's just go... Okay, so this is the, we have a buy setup on this one. This is a, a three up, four down. So looking for a five up, we leave it as it is. Mankind has triggered a setup. We were, we had a setup here, which went long here, but uh, it went down, opened, gapped, opened down. So obviously stopped out here. And if you went long here, it went from 189 to 210 or something. You probably could have taken your profits or break even or you're still in it. So I'm going to go through these. This is still of interest, uh, not the one that I want to trade right now, but I'll keep it there for now. Okay, PTGX was a setup, obviously uh, triggered yesterday. Now it's kind of hit the highs of wave three there. And where can it go? Let's now close the scanner and do some analysis. Okay, so we could have this as one, this is two, this is our three, based on the AO, that's our four. So five will be up there. Where would five end? Well, the five will end over most probably the target for five is around 22. So let's call it 2250. So 2250 is your target. Your entry is at 1860. Pretty good profit. Okay, that's the next one. So if you were watching this, TPTX, your entry would have been here. It's a very spiky uh, kind of chart. Don't like it. This one, RIGL, it, it crashed all the way up, like went really, really high up. Could it do that again? Maybe yes or no, but I just don't like this chart. I'm going to get rid of it. Click X, it's gone. If it sets up later, it will most probably hit the scanners again. So we have PDD here. Uh, obviously, it's long from here. Went up, hit wave three. That's where you should take half your profits or even all of them. Comes down, goes back up. What if it goes above 98? Well, we'll see. So that's one. Uh, that's another one. Well, it has really spiky and low volume and kind of space kind of charts. Uh, this is just an example, but what you can see is a one, two, three, four, and five. It's gone all the way to 335. Pretty good trade and a, and a lovely setup. Okay, this is a good example as well. BYRN, it's OTC. 
So not one that you would trade or I would trade, uh, but what we see on the chart is a three up, four down, five up. Let me draw that for you. So looking at this peak, that would be our, so our one will probably start here, two would end here. That's obviously the three, as you can see the peak of AO. This is where the cross of zero line is, and now it's going towards wave five. But if you were to trade it here, at 1.5 and your stop loss is at 150, you could easily go and target 1.9 here. But this is OTC, so you won't trade it. So I'm going to take it off the list, uh, but it's a beautiful example. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for now, just for the sake of just looking at this beautiful picture. Uh, this is not a good setup now. It's around here when it hit the scanners, it was something, but it's not really good. If we go to the weekly chart, uh, it's gone all the way up and now it's going into the weekly wave 4. So if it goes to the weekly wave 4, the daily chart, it's going to be up and down and stuff. So we'll just delete that and take it off the list. This is CDX. Probably you can go long here. Not my favorite setup. I'll just take that off the list as well. This is another OTC. Just have this on the... Uh, on the list just because it's got this strong three up and four down a beautiful setup uh, if you can go long here and go up it's a penny stock we'll just delete it now Ovid okay OVID another pharmaceuticals uh, long entry from here at 754 and it's probably hit target one and target two is here so most probably I can take this off my uh, list because it's not tradable but maybe there's a pullback entry and we can do that so next one LPLA uh, triggers here where well, we took it over here price went up hit the the high of three and now pulling back not the best setup because you have a strong three down and the three up is smaller than the three down so it's not going to look pretty on the weekly chart if you go to the weekly what we see is down and then up so not the best so that is how I um, maintain my watch list. And so step number one, you need to know what type of strategy, what type of entry you do. Ours is setup one. If you don't know what a setup one is, the channel has quite a lot of videos on what is a setup one. We use the Ames wave, which is this histogram, the Ames gator, which are these four lines, the Ames box, which is the gray shaded, area these are the three indicators that you need and if you would like to get them well I was giving them for free to the first 100 people that period is gone then I was giving it for free for one month test that period is gone as well uh, but if you're interested you can join us uh, go to www.itradeaims.net join us the fee is not that much $500 normally these days you can get membership for $297 there's a coupon, a discount coupon code on that page. So you can join us. And when you join us, we will give you unlimited access to these indicators. If you're interested in stocks, you can run this on TradingView. If you're in India, you can find all those stocks on this as well. Okay, what about stocks in India? Well, you can do that as well. You can run your scanner and change the settings. So let's say, we so right now, what I see in India between $1.5 to $20 are these charts. Arcom, okay, Reliance, one of the most famous company. It's been going up, goes sideways. It's kind of a setup one forming right now. Then you have the next one, KCP Sugar, Unitech, probably some kind of a setup one. This is a, a nice setup one forming probably entry at 3.30, you get, the, you get the drift. We can change the settings to any other country. Let's go to Australia. So we have 13 matches for the Australian market between $1.5 to $20. We have OGC, we have RRL, we have a good setup on CIP on ASX. So this there could be an entry here at 3.40. We have SKI, RMS, MCP, and for people who are in UK, guys and girls in the United Kingdom, you can trade all of these. 
whatever is available. Why? Because you can open an account with IG.com spread betting account and they will allow you to trade any stock anywhere in the world, almost anywhere in the world, because that is the beauty of spread betting. You don't have to have access to the real exchange. All you need is the chart and then your broker will allow you to spread bet. So there we go. That's what it is. You can, you can use this setup one for stocks on, on stocks from anywhere in the world, whatever is there, because if you click on this, these are all the exchanges that TradingView is allowing you to look at. Let's go to United Kingdom. So what about UK? Well, I, I've just run the uh, scanner on UK. I have nine matches. So I'll quickly look at it, probably setting up. See, this would have hit the scanners over here and a pretty good setup one followed. That's also this and this. And if you, um, well, a lovely setup one going on on PHE, your entry would be at $4 and your first target is at four fifty. So there you go. And if you change the filters a bit, I've changed the limit from $1.5 to $50 and I found probably one more uh, setup. So there we go. I'm looking at a few more. Mm. So there you go. That's a few on the London Stock Exchange, but the the biggest market is obviously US. So you can change that. So as you can see in US, you have the Nasdaq, you have the NYSE, you have the NYSE ARCA and the OTC. Uh, we don't like the OTC, uh, but the rest of them are fantastic. So uh, that's the mechanism. Number one, what is your setup? The setup is setup one. The, the way to trade, the way which, uh, the way we, we trade is that we wait for a three and we wait for a four. We use these indicators to create that pattern, which we call the setup one. We have a scanner for that to scan the market, look at those charts, add them to your watch list, then go through your watch list. Whenever they set up, take your trade. And if the watch list and if you go through while you're going through the watch list, you find out that a stock is no more valid. It's not meeting the rules that uh, that you require for it to be there. The, the rules that creates a setup one pattern, if it's not following those, you delete them and the process continues and there it is. So if you have any other questions and suggestions, please leave them in the comment and do bless us with a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video. See you in the next one.